Welcome, Lisa, principal owner from I Know A Guy, and I'm here because I get asked this every single day. How do I stay so positive? So here it is. Since I was little, and I mean as young as I can remember, I have identified with myself. I've had a belief that no matter what, inside, spiritually, mentally, and physically, I was strong. So it didn't matter what I came across or what I dealt with. I was always resourceful and could, you know, find a different way to accomplish my goals. And I have been through a lot of shit, just like I'm sure you have. We all have. And that does not mean I don't have bad days. But I love what I do. I love what I do. And I think when your identity is connected to something positive, then that is who you are. And Tony Robbins talks about this. You know, he talks about a belief in ourselves. And that is what you fulfill. It's the habits you create. And my habits are being strong spiritually, emotionally, and physically every day. And it's not perfection. It's progress. I don't get up and do a marathon every day. I don't climb Mount Everest every day. But if I have a goal, I set my goal and I start small. If I want to travel the world, which I did, I didn't just go travel the world. I had to work. I had to set goals. I made a timeline, but I didn't care how long it took because spiritually, emotionally, and mentally, I've always believed I was strong. And no matter what, you know, obstacles came across my path, it didn't matter. I made sure it happened one way or another. It's not always going to be perfect. It's about small steps in the direction you want to go. So in saying that, if you are a person who is always afraid, you need to, as Tony says, I love Tony, divorce your past. See you, pal. And marry the truth. Why are you afraid? Why are you depressed? Why are you overweight? You know, you're always going to have struggles. But until you are honest and, and like Tony says, marry the truth, you don't know which direction to go in. So be honest with yourself. Are you unhappy? And if you are, why? And what's going to make you happy? What are your dreams? Don't just think they're unattainable. You need to start small. I didn't just go travel the world in one day. I had to work for a year. I had to bust my hump in a job I didn't love to gain enough, you know, uh, money to travel to all the places that I wanted to see in my life. You know, before I had my kids, before I got married, before I settled down. And that is something I, even though it set me back career-wise, I would never take back, ever. You need to ask yourself, what's going to make me happy? Because as soon as you start asking and attaining those goals, oh, here comes my boy. Come on in, bossy. Um, as soon as you start attaining and reaching those goals, there goes your momentum. Now you're like, oh, yeah, that was awesome. I did that. That's amazing. Okay, what else am I going to do? I'm going to find the job I love. I'm going to find the man I love. I'm going to have this incredible life. And I am going to give back to other people. People ask me every day, oh, how are you so positive? How are you? Because I feel fulfilled inside. So I love giving back to other people. You need to change your belief. You need to change your state of mind. Not just physically, you know, like exercise. Up here, growth. Educate yourself. Learn. Spend time with people who are positive. Who make you want to make a small change. Because as soon as you make that small change, now you're starting a new, you know, fulfillment. You're starting a new habit. And that becomes who you are and who you identify with inside. So I hope this has helped you guys. If you have questions or comments, please feel free. Uh, and stay, you know, stay motivated. Don't give up. Be real. Be honest. Best of luck.